Let's take a look at downloading ABB's Automation Builder suite of software for the PLC. We'll start at www.abb.com. As we scroll down, we see a link for products and systems. Under products, we can find PLC Automation. Click that link to go to the PLC Automation page. About halfway down in the middle of the page is a link for Automation Builder. Let's click that link to get to the Automation Builder page, and it explains some of the details about Automation Builder. We can download Automation Builder from this page, clicking on this download link, which takes us to the Automation Builder download page. Let's click the link to Automation Builder download. You'll notice that it downloaded this executable file, which was saved in our download folder. When I click on that link, this is actually just a download manager. I'm going to choose to install in English. Once we have the download manager installed, we have a choice to install Automation Builder from the website or the advanced options which allow us to save the install files to the hard drive. I'm going to choose to install from the website. With the Premium Edition, you'll notice that all of the features of Automation Builder are enabled. We can also choose to enable all of the versions previous to the current version in case we have customers with older installations. We'll click on Download and Install, and the installation will be done online. Keep in mind, this is dependent on your internet connection speed, and it could take up to an hour to install everything. I will pause the video and come back after all of the green arrows have completed the installation. As you can see during the download process, the green check marks will indicate a successful complete installation of each individual component. As you can see, the download for Robot Studio takes a significant amount of time. It is 1.4 gigabytes. If you're not going to use our robot, then you don't need to include this in your premium download. I included it for our demonstration. So as you can see, it has completed downloading all of the files. It is now extracting them and installing them automatically on my hard drive. I'm going to accept all of the installation defaults. So at this point we can see that the installation was successful. If I want to, I can click on this copy for offline installation and save all the files to a location on my hard drive for installation on other machines. I won't do that now. I'm just going to click finish and that's it. That is the download and installation of Automation Builder. Thank you for your attention.